Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video we're going to be looking at and discussing the possibility of an Evercade EXP2 or in other words another Evercade handheld with some upgraded features such as dual cart slots, maybe some dual thumbsticks as well. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So with the recent announcement that we are getting 64-bit games on Evercade, it certainly got me thinking that really ideally we need some upgraded hardware um, because we are missing some things um, that really you need for like Nintendo 64 games which would be dual thumbsticks for starters. Now forgive the really crude example here, this is just to give you the idea of what we really need on our updated devices. Now Evercade are always updating their hardware and we've seen so many updates over the last few years. It wouldn't surprise me if we've seen an Evercade EXP2 or an updated device at some point this year. The first thing we really need is dual thumbsticks. Um, it would certainly make it future proof for getting, getting into Nintendo 64 games and maybe even Dreamcast games as well. Now it got me thinking that maybe we could even get dual cart slots onto the back of our devices which would be massively helpful for obviously those uh, games where you can obviously put the two carts in and it unlocks a secret game. I think this would be really cool. Now I did try to update um, these sort of pictures using RAI, but they gave me some absolutely horrific examples and um, so I had to sort of abandon that and really just try and manipulate this myself but obviously I'm not very skilled at this type of thing and clearly neither is the AI absolutely horrific examples that will never see the light of day but it certainly made me laugh and this is why I've, I've really just dropped them in of, of some of the examples that AI gave me and um, but obviously if we got updated handhelds I would be shocked if we didn't get the dual thumbsticks um, and obviously dual cart slots is maybe just a little bit too far but ideally we need to get a bigger screen um, I think when we got the EXP it was exactly the same size screen as the original handheld which was something of a surprise maybe it was easier to update um, I guess using that same size screen and it isn't really a massive issue I don't really want to see something the size of a Steam Deck I think ideally you want to maybe put the size up to five six seven inches maybe maybe that's too far but somewhere in between there we definitely need a bigger screen for these games um, and no doubt about it we need a better battery life something that was wrong with the exp was the bespoke battery that they had to use for that device it was terrible uh, in some cases you could only get two hours battery life out at maximum three um, some people might get more but honestly it's absolutely awful uh, and looking at the EXP overall, there's certainly a lot of flaws with that device. The sound is absolutely horrible um, and the battery life is pretty poor. Two fundamental things that we really should get right, which I think they actually got right if you look at the Super Pockets. Um, the sound on that is fantastic and also the battery life is really good. So hopefully they've learned some lessons from the Super Pockets and maybe put that into fruition for the next Evercade handheld that we might actually get. Now, I'm not saying we're going to get an Evercade EXP2 this year or a, a su successor to the Evercade EXP, um, but I'd be massively shocked or surprised if they weren't looking at moving things forward a bit, um, because I think they've got to the point where they're looking at the next stages such as Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, maybe even Jagger or other, other things that we might potentially see on uh, devices going forward. Um, I think if they want to move forward they have to probably upgrade their handhelds. They might even upgrade the Evercade VS as well and maybe add that with four slots but I think at the moment the best thing to do is perhaps update the Evercade EXP. It really does need an update. Um, I know that's not really what a lot of people want to hear. It's another hardware, it's something else to buy but I think um, if they want to move forward it's something they probably have to look into. Now will they make it backwards compatible? I'm not entirely sure. There's going to be a lot of issues there. It might be at the point they're going to have to ditch the original Evercade and concentrate uh, on the current hardware and making the games playable for them rather than trying to make them playable for every device and system that they actually have. It creates a heck of a lot of issues and that's one of the things that we see a lot a lot of issues and problems arising because they're trying to make the games compatible on all these devices and sometimes you just have to stop and maybe concentrate on the newest device that you have. I know it's not really great for those that have the older systems but sometimes you just have to move on a little bit. Um, now other things we might see, now I'm just making stuff up now, is 
related to the tatty mode on the EXP, will they ditch it? Will they keep it? Will they try and think of some other idea? Could we get a swivel screen as per the Egret Mini uh, from Taito? Probably unlikely because that would probably put the price point up really high. But one of the things about the XP is, obviously the tatty mode was nice, but it wasn't the most comfortable thing to use um, in prolonged periods. It actually was quite a heavy device to use, and it wasn't great if you were maybe using it for 20-30 minutes, your hands actually got sore. So will they keep that? Will they make it, um, will they ditch it? Will they make some other kind of ways to actually play it with a swivel screen? I don't know. It's certainly something they're going to have to think about. Um, maybe they should ditch it if they have a bigger screen. It w maybe won't look as bad anyway, but it's certainly something they'll probably have to give a little bit of thought. Will they go with full 1080p on their handheld screens or just stick with the 720p? Probably just sticking with the 720p is the, the best thing to do because it doesn't make a massive difference going from 720p and 1080p on those sort of smaller screens. Ideally, it does look better, but it certainly would take up more battery life as well, and that's something we're obviously trying to avoid. Um, will they maybe build in some Bluetooth so you can maybe use some external controllers and other type of things like a mouse? Maybe that would be pretty cool. Um, probably unlikely. Um, could we also see a micro SD slot added? Probably not, because that would then incur some issues that they are trying to avoid. Obviously, you, they would. I mean, for me, I would love to add your own games to it, and you, you can obviously use other devices to do that. But I think that's something they will most likely um, avoid. But what do you think we could see if we do get an Evercade EXP2 or an upgraded hardware throughout this year? There's so many things you could think of, but I think it's something they definitely need to look at. Um, otherwise, I think if they don't bring something out this year, they might end up going backwards. Um, and I don't think that's something that do, they have done recently, because they obviously they've upgraded their hardware quite frequently. You've got the original hardware, you've got the purple version, um, and then we got the uh, Evercade VS, um, and then we got some variants on that. Um, which was quite cool, and then we got the EXP. So I doubt very much they're going to stand still. I would be really shocked if they didn't announce something at some point this year um, of some upgraded hardware. But guys, what do you think? Do you think we'll see an upgraded uh, Evercade EXP? If we did, what would you like to see as part of that device? Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching our video. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.